Hey guys, uh, I'm back today. Uh, this, I'm sorry I've been away so long. Uh, my last interview was on Wednesday there. So all through the week I've been working on projects on this. So I went for an animation interview. Hopefully I get in. Uh, they like what they saw. And this will give the special effects, you know, for Prodigal Sons and everything else. But uh, thank you everyone for watching. And uh, 180... I think it's 88 or 89 I'm up to, I think that, and 28,000 views. Guys, thank you so much. Everyone who's been watching, I will give shoutouts at the end of the video. So, as you can see by the title, I've redesigned the Red Hood character. I promised a, there was a new armor, and I have got comments saying there is two lollipop head manish. So, I kind of looking at them both now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud. So, the whole redesign is just because there is a part in the film I'm not going to give away too much. Where, I'll just say this, Bruce Wayne has a, a contingency plan, that means a backup for everything. So, something happens, just that I'm leaving it that. So yeah guys, this is uh, the Red Hood costume design mask. There is masks out there, I was looking to purchase one, a airsoft or paintball mask, sort of like it like 30 pounds, 40 pounds, the guts of, and the red hood ones, which I kind of, not the basis, I kind of think looks like this, 200, 150 pounds, or 250 pounds to 300, custom masks, some people are asking money for, which is outrageous, so, sorry guys, that just went off there, but, yeah, so without, you know, I just want to let this keep going. Uh, sorry, just two seconds. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I had to do something there, so I did. But yeah, so the just the redesign is based on everything, you know, new. In the new 52, I recently purchased some comics. And I'm just hoping to bring you guys Prodigal Sun soon. This will be coming this October, but I'm getting everything dedicated to it. So without this, I'll jump in right into it. Uh, so... This is, you guys, you guys saw this, you know, this is the Red Hood original helmet, okay? This is the helmet that I did. I have recently redone one, which I got everything out of Poundland, and this mask came to £5. The spray paint, the mask underneath, uh, the mask that goes over I will show, but this is the Red Hood mask. Yeah, guys. So I'm pretty. I'm really, really proud of this. Uh, this red hood mask. Yeah, you can see the glints. That is stretchy material in the back, so you know it fits onto your head. I have spray painted it black. This is all made. I will show pictures from the start. As you can see, the inside also is sponge up here, and bits of sunglass for your the sunglasses. You know, for just to protect your nose. And the, it's complete, so, let's see it here, this is a skull mask originally, as you can see there, you know, it was a skull mask, I purchased this out of uh, Poundland, we call it the Poundland over here, and that was just for a base, you know, just to go on. I went into an art shop, and it's a Knight of the Abra, as you can see here, there is a cut off, just like... You know, going around here, up the eye. That is a Knight of the Opera mask. It was pretty beat up. They gave me it for 99p, 99 pence. So that's what I got it for. And I'm sure you can maybe pick those up. It could be good for Captain America, if you do a helmet. You know, at the back and that. But I did the cardboard wrapped in material. You know, you can see the difference there. I did like, you know, going around as a mouthpiece. You know, up going up here. I, before I did, I will show pictures. I put this on first, which I wrapped in cardboard and then wrapped it in material with hot glue. Then I put this on, the top mask, this was all white. I put that on and then I just stretched it out. I slightly made a little nose piece up here. Uh, that is the spray paint at the back. Uh, these are just cardboard. You know, that goes around your head for the shape. Because I want the kind of thing to blend. So, yeah. 
This is the mask, the tinted eyes as well. The sunglasses in there. And this all came to five pounds. Five pounds, I'm pretty proud of it. You can see ones, I think, like this for like 250, 150 pounds. I like the design. I did this spike there. And I just spray painted it. I give it a first coat of red acrylic spray paint. Please cover up as well when you are doing this because it is dangerous doing it without all cover up and you know a mouth guard. So I used a t-shirt, covered up well, a hood and a hat. Pardon me. But yeah, I put a coat of red over it. I found it wasn't sticking to it well. So I kind of spread the black over it and I kind of molded it together. But that stuck, so I used that for a first coat of primer. You know, you're supposed to put over a first clean coat over it, so everything sticks together. And uh, that I used that as a primer. So then I went into it with a clear black just all over. I will show pictures. And then I went over it again with the red. Just dabbing it here and there. The material kind of took some spraying to. The eyes, I wanted to give it like a robin mask. You know, it looked like a robin mask. So yeah, I uh, just cut out in cardboard, you know, like I usually do for the rabble masks. I put that over it because the layer, of, as I said, the second layer of black over my first coat of primer, I kind of put it over when I was spraying on the red. I kind of had to go in again after because the red was blending in. But yeah, I darkened it down. I'm really, really proud of this. You know, it's more tactical. It's more stealthy. So guys, this is the Red Hood helmet. I will try this all on. Uh, again, the belts, just two gun pockets from cardboard and material. You know, just for stealthy. Usual belts, you know, just my stretchy stuff. Buckle and a little knife pocket at the back. All from cardboard wrapped in material. As watched previous videos. Uh, this is the hole as well. This is my new red, this is the hood design. So yeah guys, the coat again, you know, as I mentioned previously, the red and the black. So I take this off and this is the armor. Two shoulder pads, it looks pretty cool, I love it. The bat sits well. And this is all cardboard, wrapped in material, with little tack pins. The bat is wrapped in material also. That is, I, I like the design of it, it's brilliant. Uh, it's all straps and also in the back is like a little spinal cord. You know, it stretches as well for certain people's heights. Two armor plates here and a spinal cord stretch piece. It all connects together, which I will show. And just a grey undersuit. But I was pretty proud of this design which drew the mask. You know, I did this first. I wanted to show all you guys first. But I didn't want to show it without the mask. I couldn't put this on top of this. It just doesn't go together. But I will show you it now, guys, on with uh, my Young Justice Robin costume uh, trousers. So here we go, guys. Hey, guys. So this is my uh, Red Hood costume. I don't know if you can hear through the mask. But... Yeah. So I have the other one here, but it's kind of hard to get out of the poster. You know? So yeah. Uh, this, oh, one of the guns fell. The mask is awesome. I love hard sets. But, uh, so everything here is cardboard, you know? This front piece is cardboard. Uh, these are cardboard, these safe pieces, and as you can see, I still have here and a neck piece to make. Yep, yeah. this is everything here, as you can see, top layer. So, I just have to get these to stick on. Whoa! But yeah, guys, so this is my, uh, move that up there. This is my red hood armor, the coat sewn together and made myself. Uh, so is the top, but yeah, the mask, I am just pretty proud of, that's the whole piece. So, this is the armour, as you can see, the spinal cord at the back going down, it's like a little vertebrae thing, uh, 
I want the shoulder pieces to sit like this, but they kind of aren't doing what I want at the minute. Put two straps up here so this sits up. You know, the whole thing stretches. Uh, it is one, two, three, four pieces with the fifth as the badge. Five, then all these going down. They do stretch. I have various materials just to do it. And uh, the belt as well is, you know, wrapped in material. If I didn't have hot glue, I would be lost. But this is the mask. Oh. So yeah guys, uh, there is a sponge, you know, inside. I don't know if you can see. So the eyes are just tinted. And this is my red hood. Jason Todd. So I do not have the knife, so I am um, the knife kind of completes it. I do have here at the back for it, but I'm just I love this costume. The coat as well kind of goes with the color scheme. I want to keep this a no arm top. So yeah, this mask is the feature piece. This also is the feature piece. The badge is cardboard wrapped in material. Everything is done using the various techniques from the other videos. And I'll get back to this in two seconds, guys, when I get this off. So thank you again. Mask, armor, and coat. So thanks, guys. Hey, guys. So I didn't want to just take it off yet. Uh, it's the first time trying it on, and I really like it. So uh, a big shout-out, as always, to Jordan Pitts. Buddy, you're awesome. The Maiden Spider Geek, he's recently been commenting on everyone. Uh, the Farrell Brothers, A.T. Brooks. Uh, I'm sorry guys if I'm forgetting anyone, maids. Uh, everyone I've subscribed to, everyone who has subscribed to me. Uh, a shout out to Peanut Bros as well. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting anyone, guys. I will go through every comment, just my internet is down at the minute. And it's kind of hard, you know, reading the comments. It's from my phone, a Blackberry. But yeah, so the video was on the Red Hood mask and costume today. Cardboard and material wrapped and stuck with a hot glue gun. You know, guys, just normal hot glue. I'd be lost without it. But I did this two to three weeks ago. I want to show you guys and I didn't get the chance to. I didn't feel it fit without the mask. I was going to purchase one. But I wasn't willing to pay like 50 pounds for an airsoft mask that I was just going to spray paint. So again, I made this all from three pieces. One was a skull mask, the other was the cardboard piece, and then a knight of the upper mask. The vinyls are done with the various, you know, Robin detailing and Batman I do with all my costumes. The tints are a pair of sunglasses. Inside, I have fixed sponge with a uh, sunglass, you know, sunglasses nose protector and a bit of sponge in the end of the nose for the skull mask, it's pretty hard in there just for fitting, you know but yeah, it came out good, the yellow tinted thing, the yellow tinted lenses the cardboard here with just a little boat, you know, it matches up together I wanted everything to go together uh, the belt, as usual, just wrap it in material and the, the cardboard boxes, you know, just wrap the material and put together. So guys, thank you very much for watching 182 subscribers. Everyone, guys, you're amazing. Just for watching. I do this all just to show and please share with everyone. And I just to watch everyone else's, you know, I'm learning so much. So wish me luck, guys. I wish you luck and everything you guys do. I hope to see you next week because it won't be hectic anymore. I hope. And I will show two more costumes from the Prodigal Sons. That's it. I will not show any more. This will be featured in it as well as the other one. No more shall be shown or featured. Because I don't want to give it away. I do not want to give away any plans. So yeah guys. And I have recently. Just to show dedication. This is the crossbow. Do not go out and purchase anything like this. Do not go out and do anything. This is for authenticity for the videos. For uh, Red Hood and red arrow so guys i'm just taking it all serious thank you so much for the comments and the subscriptions on the trailer also 
So hopefully this Red Hood one gets as much as it, the new one has. Well, the old one, 15,000. I'll see you guys soon next week. This is John Hay. This is the Red Hood costume. Thank you guys. See you.